I've changed the way I've looked at God's story. I used to think that God's story was a lot like the story of the Titanic. You know the story of the Titanic where it hit the iceberg and then it got wrecked and started to sink and the only people who were saved were the people who could jump onto the life raft and float away to safety. I used to think that that was kind of God's story. That, that God created a good world, but then the world got wrecked by sin and it was going to be sinking. And so the only point of this life was to jump onto the life raft of Jesus and float away to heaven to be saved. But the more I read the Bible, the more I see that, that God's story is a lot more like the TV show, Extreme Makeover, Home Edition. Do you ever see that TV show? It starts off where... Um, this house gets wrecked and then a crew comes in and demolishes the parts that aren't working, that are broken, and the house is remade. And then people go back to this renewed house in this new life. I think that's a lot more like God's story. That yes, God creates this beautiful world, but this beautiful world gets wrecked. And then Jesus comes into the world, lives a perfect life for us, dies on the cross for all of our sins, and is resurrected. And then he says that our bodies are one day going to be resurrected and he's going to resurrect this world. In fact, when we get to the last page of the Bible, Jesus says, I'm going to make all things new. He doesn't say I'm going to make new things. He's going to make, I'm going to make everything new. He's going to make a new world, give us new bodies, and most of all, a new relationship with God. Now, why do I think it is so important that we understand this? Well, if we look at the world kind of like the Titanic and, and God's story like the Titanic, well then, God's story is ultimately a tragedy. That this world is going down and the only point of our life is to escape to heaven somewhere. But that's not God's story. God's story is leading toward a happy ending to a renewed world. And so, we're in the middle of a very good story. And so here's what that means. If things are going well for you right now, just wait, it's going to get even better. Or if things are not going well for you right now, hold on, you're in the middle of a story that's leading to a very happy ending where God's going to make everything new. Let's pray. Lord God, as I look out at this world and we look out at this world, we see that, man, so many things are going wrong. So many things are going bad. But you've promised to make all things new. Help us to look forward to that last day and enjoy your renewal project even right now. In your name we pray. Amen. Today we talked about God's story about heaven and that sometimes our stories can be one of suffering and difficulty. Maybe you know somebody who's going through a really difficult time. Would you send this video to them to give them some encouragement? Well, thanks, and we'll see you tomorrow. If these messages are a blessing to you and your faith and you want more, we'd love to make it easy for you. You can just click this button right here to get connection to a YouTube subscription, or if you want these devotions right into your inbox, you can click right here. YouTube here, Email here. Email here, YouTube there. Click both these buttons. We'll give you as much Jesus as we can because we know that Jesus is all that we need.